In this video, we're going to take a look at Search Engine Dominator. This is the feature of Keyword Elite 2.0 that allows you to figure out what the top ranked sites in the search engines are doing to get those top rankings and how you can duplicate exactly what they're doing. So let's take a look at how this works. Step one is to simply type in the keyword or keyword phrase that you want to research. Step two is to select which search engines you want to analyze. And we've got Google, Yahoo, and Bing to choose from. So we click Start, and Search Engine Dominator goes to work for us, finding the data on the top ranked sites in the various search engines. We have the total monthly searches, 62,580 for this particular phrase. In Google, we can see that there are 26,300,000 competing pages. We can see the number of estimated clicks, and we get the same information for Yahoo and also for Bing. We also have the Microsoft OCI. This is an indicator of the commercial intent. It's a very interesting number because what this shows us is the likelihood that people who click on search results for this particular search engine phrase or keyword phrase, the likelihood that they have a commercial intent. What does that mean to us as marketers? Well, it's pretty simple. The likelihood of commercial intent means how likely are they to buy. In this case, 72%. If people are typing in the keyword SEO software, then there's a 72% chance they have some kind of commercial intent for doing so. In other words, the possibility of buying. And I think that makes pretty, pretty good sense. Now, here's where it gets really exciting. In this bottom half of the page, we can see the specific details of what each of these top-ranked 10 sites are doing to get the ranking that they have. So, in the number one position is SEO Elite. Well, you know, for one thing, it kind of makes sense that search engine software that's really good at what it does would have the number one ranking for the term SEO software. But we'll set that comment aside for the moment. You can form your own conclusions. But let's take a look at what we see here. We see the domain. We see the ranking, of course, the position, which search engine we're looking in. We're looking in Google for this one. And uh, the page title. We see the Google page rank. We see the number of words that appear on the page. So for seoelite.com, there are 4,799 words on the page. For Trend MX, there are only 1,393. We see the number of repeated words, the keyword density, and the repeated words, by the way, are the number of times the actual keyword phrase is repeated. Uh, the keyword density is a percentage of the text on the page. The number of times that the keyword or keyword phrase appears in the title, um, in a link, in an alt tag, um, in the keywords description, in uh, keywords meta tags, in the description meta tags, the number of times the keyword or keyword phrase is in bold, and the number of times it appears in H1 tags. And here's a very interesting feature of this software. As we scroll down here, we can see the average values. And this takes the average of all these numbers for these various top ranking sites so that we can see what it would take to duplicate the results. We know that to get the kind of results that we want for a top 10 ranking, we would be well served to consider having a page that has around 1400 words, that repeats the keyword phrase 38 times that has a keyword density of 2.6%, that the keyword or keyword phrase appears in the title uh, twice, 1.8 times. Uh, and we can see how many times we need to link the keyword phrase, how many times we need to have it appear in an alt tag, and so forth. Now, you can also, if you start looking through the results and you think, okay, um, you know, there's some abnormalities here, like here's a site that repeats the keyword phrase 62 times in 1,600 words of text. Now, you might say, well, gosh, that seems a little aberrant. I don't know if I want to include that in my averages because it kind of throws everything off. You can simply uncheck this box, and that'll take that number out of the factoring that the software does for this particular 
criteria. So you can see that takes the average of <clears throat> the repeats down to 36 times in that one page. So you can really reverse engineer what it takes to get a top search engine ranking when you use Search Engine Dominator. And that's what it's all about.